getting on towards evening time. I'm glad I have a screen door to keep the mosquitoes out. Oh, yeah. There it is. Very nice. I'll show you how I did it. Warning. This video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. So to do the screen door project, I've got this piece of rubberized screen. It's the same stuff I used on the surround for the uh, for this upper bed to keep my stuff on, but it's gray, black instead of green um, or dark brown, I guess. But right now I've got it pinned on with some magnets. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of Velcro. I'm going to put it right across the top here. Some stick-on Velcro. Got some right here that I'm standing on. So I've got this rolled up stick on Velcro. It comes in a strip and it's got both sides. So I'm gonna put a stick strip of that here so that I've got some there. And then I'm gonna sew some onto this screen so that the screen will Velcro all the way across the top of the door and be somewhat permanent. It'll, or, you know, it'll stick there pretty good. I'll have a couple of little straps to hold it on. So when I roll it up, it'll just stay there. So I can just roll the whole thing up. And on the sides here, I think I'm just gonna take some magnets and I'm gonna put them, encase them in the, in the fabric like that and then have them lined up so that they'll stick against this wall. I don't want them to stick on the screws because they stick too good. Um, I'm gonna line them up so they stick in between because there is um, there is a strip of steel underneath that on both sides. And so I'll be able to have the door just hang down and stick to that when I drop it. So when, you, when we lift the door up, it'll just pop those magnets off and then we let it go, it'll go clunk and stick back onto the things. It's a custom sound, that clunk sound. That's what the magnets will do. Sweet. So we're going to get onto that. I'm going to sew, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to sew a strip of Velcro onto that piece and uh, see how it goes. And then uh, I have to sew a little tube, kind of tube thing along the edge here. But the only problem I'm really going to run into, I think, is that I've got this big steel uh, bar right here, which is what this side is going to stick onto. So it's going to be a lot more likely to stick on that side than this side. And that might not be such a big problem. So I'm going to sew those Velcros on and we'll come back in here and test it again. I'm back in the sewing shop now and I'm going to put these uh, a tubular edge on this for the magnets to go into. And because my fabric is about an inch too thin, go figure, nothing's ever easy. My new motto, it's been my motto for a while actually, is nothing is ever easy. Uh, so I'm going to sew, I've got this inch and a half webbing here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to sew a strip of inch and a half webbing on each side. And then I'm going to roll that over and use that to help just widen out my fabric. It'll make it a little tougher on the edges too. So hopefully that'll work and uh, I'll be able to sew that in on each edge and then I'll put my magnets encased in there because I need to take, I need these magnets to be basically inside of a tube of fabric like that. And it takes about two inches of fabric in order to do that. So if you, uh, if you're doing this project and need to, you know, measure your door and make sure you have extra width in your fabric so you don't have to sew webbing on it. Nice. These magnets are like super strong. So I'm going to go ahead and pin these on here. Um, Well, now that I've fixed my oops by not be buying a piece, wide enough piece of fabric, I measured it. I had another plan in mind, and then uh, the plan changed. So it really, I did buy the big enough piece of fabric what I planned on, but what I planned on wasn't going to work very well. So typical. But now, let me do that actually. Now I want these magnets in here. So um, I'm going to fold this over and sew it down, just like that. Basically, just uh, it looks like I can just sew the webbing, sew it flat like that and then I'll have the width that I need. So I'm just gonna take this back to the machine, sew it on right here, and then my magnets can slip in there and I'm gonna pin the points where I want the magnets to come back in and sew on either side so they don't wander around in the roll. So we're gonna take this over the machine and sew this edge down. Alrighty, we're moving right along. The magnets fit nicely in this edge now, and I want to put Velcro on this top edge. and I. Uh, the stuff I showed you earlier was one inch. I've actually got some two inch here that's going to be even better. So I'm going to put the female side on this screen. That way um, I'll put the male side on the trailer where it's not going to get stuff stuck all over it because um, this might come off once in a while. So basically I, I want 
this is going to be the face of the screen door the, the, to the inside. And this is going to be the part, this webbing here is the part that's going to contact the wall. That way the magnets will take a very long time to wear through that webbing. So I want this uh, piece of screen, uh, piece of Velcro on the face, uh, the inside face. So I'm just going to take that. And... Okay, now I've got the, the, the edges on. i got my Velcro on top. So I'm going to check my width. Make sure everything's correct, right? So I want it to be a little bit above my door. I think I'm actually going to mount it right up there near the, the roof line um, because when that way it'll have more room to move up. So I could have, I guess I could have put magnets on it and put it all the way up on this, but um, I think I might mount it right there because I've got enough length to the floor. It hangs right to the floor that way. Um, and so I'll mount that up there, put my, uh, my double-sided Velcro on that. And I'm good to go. Yes. So about there. The edges of Velcro will tend to peel up, especially this glue-on type. So I'm going to make this about an inch wider than my uh, inside piece of fabric. That way it won't peel it off the wall as easily. There we go. There. Off. Whoever invented this stuff deserves a medal. All right. And I'll just put it on right over those screws and everything. Um, if I ever have to take this stuff off again, I'll just have to cut it out for the screws. I want to make sure that glue is well seated. There we go. Door. Go right there. Boom, baby. Now it's almost good enough right there, but I think the skeeters will get on that edge. So we're gonna put those magnets in there, right in the seam. And then uh, I think we'll be good to go. So, and of course I had to go into the bed. So I'm gonna measure this out for those magnets. We'll, we'll uh, sew them down. We'll come in for the final test. This is not gonna be very easy to sew. These magnets are gonna to stick to my machine really badly. And, I'm gonna run out of space in this direction. So, let's see how it goes here. Okay, I think I'm done. Moment of truth here. I made a couple of straps, didn't get on the video. Basically, I took a piece of one and three quarter inch webbing. I put a piece of the uh, fluffy side of the Velcro down. And then in the other end, I, I sewed in those two flat magnets on each strap. So I got a flat magnet, it'll stick to that. Hopefully hold my uh, hold it up when it's rolled up. I'm just gonna take those and I'm gonna put them here. Unfortunately, this is a little tall here, so um, I was hoping that those would not be in the way when the door was hanging when the door was down. But such is life. I'm gonna put another one here, there. Okay. Now let's put the screen door up and see how it fits. Oh, my magnets are stuck to each other. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I want this side on first. Because I want it to stick to the upright rail here, make sure I get it lined up. I'm not gonna go. Sewed a little chunk of Velcro right on the end here to stick that edge down because this is the edge that wants to peel up a little bit, so it's going to give it a little more grip right there. So those fit nicely. Roll it all the way down. Goes right to the floor. It's good. 
Uh, okay. Voila. I have a screen door. Nice. Very lightweight. Should roll up here very nicely. Let's try that. See how it rolls. Um, well, actually, we got to test it first to see if we can get it in now. So I'm going to pull this open. It's going to get bright on the camera. It's going to mess up our shot. But pull that open. Go out. Yeah. Perfect. It sticks nicely to the uh, rail over here. All right. That's going to work. Close that so you can see. And uh, oh, 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 it's stuck down here in a strange spot. That's interesting. I'll have to see how that goes. But seems to be working. Good. Let's roll it up and see how it works. There. Looks like these could be a little shorter. So there we go. Perfect. There you go. Screen door. Uh, unfortunately, I forget exactly how much I paid for this, but I think it was about three or four dollars a yard for this stuff. A uh, little bit of Velcro, some magnets. Total cost, and this is probably about probably about twenty bucks for that. Uh, maybe a little more. So uh, as usual, I will leave. Uh, links to all the parts you need to build this in the uh, description down below. Take it to Amazon. You can pick those items up or uh, some other things I think might be handy. And uh, thank you very much, much for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Maybe a thumbs up. And I hope you have good luck with your trailer builds as well. See you next time.